Fumia Tomozaki, a self-proclaimed bottom-tier character who perceives the real world as a disappointing game, finds solace in his video game pursuits. One day, he engages in a match of the popular Yantendo Smotch game called Attack Families and emerges victorious against a player known as No Name. Surprisingly, No Name reaches out to Tomozaki and suggests a meetup. Much to his astonishment, Tomozaki discovers that No Name is none other than his diligent and exemplary classmate, Aoi Hinami. Hinami invites Tomozaki to her house and, concerned about his well-being, takes it upon herself to guide him through life, presenting it as a game with a series of missions resembling those found in top-tier games. Hinami's first mission entails Tomozaki wearing a mask, aiming to make him conscious of his appearance and its impact on his interactions with others. Tomozaki receives a new challenge to initiate conversations with three unfamiliar girls while wearing a mask. The first girl on his list is Yuki Azumi, his homeroom seatmate. He musters the courage to approach her and asks for a tissue, successfully completing his task. Encouraged, he proceeds to engage in a conversation with Fuka Kakuchi, the girl sitting behind Yuki. In his home economics class, Tomozaki finds himself in an awkward exchange with Mimimi, capturing the attention of her friend Tama, as well as his gaming companion, Shuji Nakamura. Nakamura seizes the opportunity to taunt Tomozaki, but Hinami comes to his aid, playfully teasing Nakamura in response. After school, Hinami informs Tomozaki that Nakamura holds a grudge against him for losing to him in their attack family's game. The following day, Tomozaki discards his mask and is tasked with improving his posture while engaging in a conversation with Mimimi after school. To his delight, their conversation flows more naturally as they walk home together. Hidemi commends Tomozaki for his improved conversational skills and provides him with flashcards and a pocket recorder to further enhance his abilities. Motivated by his progress, Hinami assigns Tomozaki the challenge of spending the next day on a date with her, aiming to provide him with a valuable learning experience. After meeting up, Hinami takes Tomozaki to the mall in order to teach him how to change his appearance. The two shop at an apparel store and Tomozaki's communication is still awkward when he asks the salesman for the mannequin rather than trying out the clothes on it. The two then have lunch and run into Fuka, who works as a part-time waitress. On the following Monday, Hinami tasks Tomozaki with talking to Izumi at least twice a day for the week, as well as to go on a date with another girl. During the week, Tomozaki has brief and awkward conversations with Izumi, struggling to come up with things to talk about. At the end of the week, having barely fulfilled the quota, Tomozaki visits the library and is approached by Fuka, who asks Tomozaki to read a novel she is writing, and Hinami suggests that Tomozaki dates her, though Tomozaki is hesitant for being insincere. After leaving the school, Tomozaki meets up with Izumi, who asks him to teach her how to play attack families. Izumi brings Tomozaki to her house to have him teach how to play attack families due to her crush Nakamura spending more of his time playing the game. Afterwards, Inami gives Tomozaki a pair of tickets for a movie preview screening to ask Fuka out on a date. On the following school day, Tomozaki converses with Fuka in the library, but does not ask her to go to the movies. As Tomozaki is about to leave school for the day, Nakamura's clique forces Tomozaki to stay and play attack families against a vengeful Nakamura with Hinami, Izumi, and a clique led by Erika Kana watching. Tomozaki and Nakamura play several rounds with Tomozaki winning every time. Nakamura's losing streak causes Erika to criticize Nakamura for wasting his effort in the game, A Tomozaki stands up for him telling Erika to not mock somebody else's effort when she did not put in any of her own. Sometime later, Tomozaki asks Hinami to see the movie together and she agrees to do so, albeit a different movie, due to scheduling conflicts. With Nakamura's birthday coming up, Tomozaki asks Izumi to go shopping for a present. Hinami and Nakamura's friend Takahiro Mizuso would tag along on the shopping trip to the mall. While at the mall, Tomozaki is tasked by Hinami with making two successful group suggestions, which he is struggling to do. Mizuso would brings the group a store where he applies a hair salon product on Tomozaki's hair to improve his appearance, while Izumi buys her present for Nakamura. Tomozaki then buys his present from an electronics store. The group has a meal at a pizzeria suggested by Mizusawa before going home. The next day, Hinami criticizes Tomozaki for making only one group suggestion and not putting much thought into it, while lecturing him about how to make a successful suggestion, which is to make something appear good even if it is not, like the pizza. In homeroom, Hinami and Mimimi decide to run for student council president. Hanami pauses her counseling sessions for the student council election and suggests that Tomozaki become Mimimi's campaign manager. Mimimi initially refuses his offer until he points out some key mistakes in her campaign. Tomozaki explains his motivation in that he sees Hanami as a video game boss that he wants to defeat. In aiding Mimimi's campaign, 
Tomozaki takes her to see the volleyball club, and after licking Tama's belly button, she asks her friend Shiori to get the sports clubs to support her. After school, Mamimi explains that her reason for running is to finally beat Inami as she finished second to her in everything. After studying Hinami's campaign more, Tomozaki asks Tama to help out in Mamimi's campaign. Tomozaki then comes up with the main focal point of the campaign by installing air conditioners in every classroom to get the votes of the first years. Tomozaki and Mimimi then come up with a campaign speech. Tomozaki and Hinami are walking in the hallway where Tomozaki admits that he is treating the election like it is one of their online battles. During her campaign speech, Hinami reveals that she plans to install air conditioners in every classroom, which catches Tomozaki and Mimimi off guard. When it is Mimimi's turn, Tomozaki decides to help her by having her ad-lib her speech. Once the campaign is over with, it is revealed that Hinami won the election. Afterwards, Mimimi thanks Tomozaki for helping her. Later, Hinami praises Tomozaki for his effort despite the loss. She then has him meet Fuka at the library. There, he asks an elated Fuka if she wants to see a movie. The next day, Tama tells Tomozaki how she and Mimimi first met and why she admires her. After school, Tomozaki, Hinami, Mimimi, and Tama hang out together where Tomozaki notices something is off with Mimimi. Mimimi reminisces about her time in middle school when Hinami's school defeated hers in a basketball game during round two of the Satama Prefectural Tournament. At school, everyone is worried that Mimimi has been overworking herself following the election. When Tomozaki expresses his concern to her after school, Mimimi appeals to his nature as a gamer. Later, Tomozaki learns how Hinami and Mimimi's rivalry started. Two days later, Tomozaki notices that Mimimi has skipped track practice. Once he catches up with her, she reveals the reason why she pushes herself against Hinami. The class soon discovers that Mimimi has quit the club. As such, Tomozaki and Tama decide to walk home together with Mimimi. While they are alone, distraught Mimimi admits that she quit because she has conflicted feelings towards Hinami. Tama then comforts her, which helps Mimimi overcome her issues. Afterwards, she apologizes to Tomozaki, Tama, and Hinami, and she gives them matching gifts. At the start of summer break, Tomozaki meets up with Hanami at the mall. Hanami criticizes Tomozaki's sloppy appearance, while also assigning him to go on a date with Fuka. In preparation for the date, Hanami has Tomozaki dating her as a dress rehearsal for it, all while helping him buy clothes and other things to improve his appearance. The next day, Tomozaki, Hanami, Mimimi, and Mizusawa come over to Tomozaki's house to discuss plans for their upcoming trip. Mizusawa also shows Tomozaki how to properly use the hair salon products he bought at the mall. Sometime later, Tomozaki and Fuka go on their date to see a movie, and it goes relatively smoothly. Wanting to go out with Fuka again, Tomozaki takes Inami's suggestion to watch the upcoming fireworks show with her, and she accepts. In the meantime, Tomozaki packs his bags in preparation for the trip. Tomozaki heads to the trip with Hinami, Mimimi, Izumi, Nakamura, Mizusawa, and Teiki. While they are alone, Hinami instructs Tomozaki to interact with Nakamura three times. She also instructs him to become friendly with Mizusawa as well. At the camp, everyone enjoy themselves. Tomozaki later hangs out with the guys and he begins the first task. They then head to the girls' room to play the card game Tycoon. Afterwards, Tomozaki completes the second task concerning Mizusawa. At the hot springs, he completes the first task while the guys are goofing around. Later that night, everyone decides to split up into teams to take a test of courage which allows Hinami to tease a flustered Tomozaki while they are alone. When he tries to return the favor, it leads to an awkward moment between the two. In the middle of the night, Hinami asks Tomozaki to meet with her privately to check up on his progress. He tells her that he interacted with Nakamura three times to clear the task. But before they can finish their conversation, Tomozaki hides when they see Mizusawa come by. Mizusawa confesses his love for Hinami, which leads to an awkward reaction from Tomozaki. The next day, the trip ends with everybody returning home. On the day of the summer festival, Tomozaki goes out on a date with Fuka as planned. While the date goes off without any problems, Tomozaki fails to confess his love to her, as Hinami had ordered him to do. Afterward, Tomozaki and Hinami meet up at the station on the way home to talk about the date, and Tomozaki tells her that he did not feel comfortable confessing to Fuka, as he was not sure that was actually what he wanted. Hanami responds by criticizing him for his lack of resolve, expresses disdain for the principle of trying to find what he really wants, and writes him off as a loser. Dejected by Hanami's criticism, Tomozaki goes back to his old ways. With his sister noticing how much he has regressed, she convinces him to reply to the text messages he has been receiving, among them being a date request from Fuka he received two days ago. 
He accepts her request and goes on a date, and much like the previous date, there is no confession. Though he reveals to her that he has been taking lessons on how to improve his life, and is cheered up by her approval. Sometime later, Tomozaki asks Inami to meet him at the place they first met as Nanashi and no name. There, he tells her that while he agrees with her original assertion that one cannot properly judge a game without playing it, he defies her cynicism with his own belief that the only way to really win is to find what you want in life, and challenges her to learn from him how to do that. Intrigued, Hinami accepts and agrees to continue tutoring Tomozaki. His next mission is to get part-time job, and he works as a waiter at a karaoke parlor that Mizusawa works at. 50.